I almost don't know what to say about this one here. <clears throat> it's been a very long time. I've been doing these cylinder heads for about over 25 years now, going on my 26th year. And it hasn't been very often that you get to see something like this, and I thought I'd share this with you. This is the famed Ford 427 FE tunnel port head. And these are a pair that are brand new out of the box that have never had water or fuel run through them. Uh, as a matter of fact, I got something pretty interesting here. Right here is the factory Ford box that these heads came in in, in 66 or whatever year that, that they produced them. I'll look on it. It's got the date code. But uh, sadly to say, somebody went in here on these heads and ported them themselves or some so-called head porter. I'm not sure what the story is. I'll talk with the customer and get some more information. But on these brand new cylinder heads that have never been on a motor, they went in there grinding and busted a hole in the exhaust in two spots on one head. I mean, it, it just don't get no worse than this right here. It, it, it broke my heart when they came in and I seen it. I tell you. But anyway, I'm going to try to revive these things and save them. I had to give it my best shot. So this is going to be a welding job and uh, putting meat back in some of the bowls where it looks like he might have ground on them. So we're going to do everything we can to save them, put some meat back in there. Then, of course, I have to reset the valve job and, and try to reshape it. They also done some pretty horrible work here on the porting. Um, they originally are not that big. Somebody went in here with a grinder, and I mean, I just... It's just beside me what they tried to go in here and do on a head like this. I mean, they could have improved it without having to do some stupid ass shit, I mean to tell you. But anyway, I'm going to let you get a closer look up at it. It's really unique because the manifold that bolts to this head right here uh, has the push rod that runs in the center. If you noticed how well balanced the port is on each side, it damn near looks like a hemi. But the intake manifold has the push rod. It goes right through the center of the port. Now Pontiac made a head called a Ram Air 5 that is a duplicate of this head. I mean almost the same thing, but the head has the push rod tube that runs through the middle of it. And there's a story to that Pontiac Ram Air 5 head and this head that they're they're, they're, they're cousins. They're actually related to each other because uh, history says that John DeLorean had a brother that worked at Ford that was involved in the development of this head and uh, they kind of swapped plans and they took the tunnel port head deal and put it on Pontiac. I've seen a set of them Pontiac Ram Air 5 heads and they're, it's amazing the similarities. But anyway, we're going to go in here and we're going to try and save this and do some welding. So we're going to be watching a welding job on this and straightening it out. And I thought while we were at this, it's interesting, right at the time these come in, Promax has dropped their new bomb on the world. This is the new Promax FE Ford cylinder head. And one of the things I really like about it was they put, as Pro, only Pro Max does, a ton of meat on the top and the bottom so you could take, while it's set up in a medium riser type port deal, you could turn it into the great big port to fit the earlier uh, or, the, or the open risers deals uh, on the bottom because it, it's solid right here and on top. So... Headbites is going to do a full-on stage four port on the FE uh, cylinder head, and 
I just thought when you when you look at them in comparison, here's something that'll shake you up pretty good when you look at them. It looks like, and I say it looks like, this would just kick the fire out of this. You're wrong. They put enough meat in this head on the Pro Max where I can get the shape that I want and this head right here won't even come close to it. I'm not kidding you. The flow numbers of the Pro Max head. So when you look at one head versus the other, while it's interesting to think how awesome the tunnel port head is, it's just technology and shape. These FE Pro Max heads with the meat that they put in it and what I can do with it, uh, flow number wise, CFM wise, when it all comes down to going around the valve, Pro Max wins. So anyway, we're going to do a story on both heads. We will be doing some porting on them once we get the welding done and straightening them out. And then we're going to do a full on story with the Pro Max head and a stage four porting. So I just wanted to bring this up for you guys who like automotive history and like to see something that you don't see. I've only seen two sets of these in my 26 years other than the ones that are right here. And it's just a, it means a lot to me. I love the older stuff. Remember that this 427 side oiler was the engine of choice back in the day when the AC Cobra was king of the hill. This is what they wanted to put in the AC Cobra and did. Uh, so it's it's got a lot of historical significance to it so here we are looking at old versus new and of course uh, it's going to be interesting to see the port shape and how, what numbers I get out of the uh, Ford FE head for Pro Max and then of course the side oiler head so just want to let you know what we're getting ready to do with this and like I said this is more of a repair and welding project, although I will be showing the porting that I do, correcting and getting that stuff straightened out, and then uh, the guides and the valve job is just, this is, boys, I can't tell you enough. If you're going to go in there porting on stuff, if this guy would have had a sonic checker, if he had a, had a sonic checker and a little bit of experience, he would have known not to have went in there because the older heads had a horrible core shift especially on the exhaust side they were real bad as a matter of fact the seats that you have to put in these heads are so uh, shallow that it, 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 it's incredible because if you try to put a seat like a small block Chevrolet in here boom you bust into the water they just didn't have their casting technology down to know that they were supposed to put a lot of meat in these heads back in the in the, in the mid 60s when they developed this all right, so let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and begin showing how we're going to prep the head for welding and do what we got to do. And on another series, we'll be getting into the Pro Max and showing you all the tricks, which uh, this is, believe it or not, it's, it's a heavy aluminum head. And I know that uh, there's a lot of meat in this. I've seen the Elderbrock version and some of the other ones, and I can tell you right now, this right here kicks the fire out of the Elderbrock deal. I can already look at it tell I'd much rather have these as they are really cast thick good and some high quality parts. Elderbrock, y'all need to get your, your stuff together. Alright, that's all for right now.